I'm Akiva Goldman, Managing Partner of Goldman and & Associates, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a special kind of divorce proceeding. It's called military divorce. It doesn't describe the uh, animosity that goes on in the household. That's not what military divorce means. What it means is it describes a situation where one or both of the parties is actively engaged in military service. The question becomes, how does one obtain a divorce if, if that's the way it's got to be? If your husband's in Afghanistan, how do you get a divorce? If your wife is deployed, what can you do? Are you stuck with the situation? Do you have to go through the Judge Advocate General's office to work out your problems? The answer is no. There is a mechanism set up in the standard family court system to address people who are in the military. They have the same right to get divorced that anybody else has. The only thing is, you've got to know that the lawyer that you are choosing to handle this is familiar with the process. The issue comes up when there are certain proceedings that require the appearance of both parties and your client isn't available because he's deployed. When that happens, you don't want to be in a situation where the judge is putting you in a worse position because the other attorney's got his client there and you don't. So, in a situation like that, it's very important to make sure you have counsel who's familiar with military divorce, who knows how to deal with the issues that come up, and who can explain that to the court in such a way, get your personal appearance waived, get other accommodations for our servicemen and women in the military. Divorce is available to military personnel just like anybody else. The key is to find someone who knows how to handle it. Here at our firm, we've been handling all sorts of divorce, including military divorce, for many, many years. Call us and we'll be glad to help you out with your needs as well.